So, uh, for Bellwork here, this is a question that we struggle with a little bit. We want to make sure we understand um, that there's, it's not as hard as it seems, and we're going to do a really easy way of solving it here in a second. It says, uh, if the midpoint is at 3, negative 4, and the first point is at negative 2, 4, what is the second point at? Okay, we did this before. We did it algebraically. Okay, I'm going to show you a shortcut. If you're not good at math, but you can visualize things, this is the easier way to do it. Then I'll show you algebraically. Okay, it says the midpoint is at, neg or at 3, negative 4. So I'm going to go to 3, negative 4 on my graph right there, and I'm going to make a dot. That's my midpoint. Okay, it says point 1 is at negative 2, 4. So I'm going to go to negative 2, 4. So negative 2, 4. There's my first point. If that's my first point and there's my midpoint, where's my second point going to be? Which way do I need to go to? Down and which other way? To the right. It's going to be down somewhere that way. Does that make sense? Because this is the point. I've got a line that's going to go like this through the middle and go. Okay? The easiest way to do this, we're going to do it algebraically. The easy way is to use your brain. Okay? To get from this force, first point to that midpoint, let's count. I need to go over one, two, three, four, five spots. I need to go over to the right five. And to get to that middle point, I need to go down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I went eight down. So if that's the middle, I start, I have a middle, I have an end, all I need to do is repeat exactly what I just did. Okay? So here's my midpoint right here. It's at 3, negative 4. If I went right 5, how much do I need to go from this midpoint to get to my second point? 5 more. I went 5 over, I'm going to go 5 again. So if I'm at 3 right now, where am I going to end up for my x value? 8. I went over 5 to get to here. So to get to my second point, I'm going to go over 5 again. To get to my y value, to go from here to here, I went down 8. So if I want to get to my, to my y value of my midpoint, what am I going to have to do? Go down 8 more. So I went down 8 more. I'm at negative 4 right now. So if I go from negative 4 and I subtract 8 more, where am I going to end up? That's the answer. Okay, that was thinking. I counted. Right 5, down 8. Then I did it again. Right 5, down 8. That's where my last spot would be. Okay, you can do that graphically. If you're smart, do that. Okay, if that doesn't make sense to you, let me show you the way I showed you the first day, which was algebraically. Okay, we are obviously doing midpoint formula since it's talking about midpoint. Our midpoint formula looks like this. X sub 1 plus X sub 2, all over 2, will tell you the midpoint X value. That'll tell you the middle of your x. And x, or I'm sorry, y sub 1 plus y sub 2, cut in half, will tell you your midpoint y value. Take the two x's, add them together, cut them in half. Take the two y's, cut them together, cut them in half. So this number right here, it says if the midpoint is at 3, negative 4, that number 3 right there, I'm going to plug it into one of my equations. Am I going to plug that 3 into my x equation or my y equation? My x, because it's an x value. Where am I going to plug that 3 in? x1, x2, or m? What is it? What, read, the, read the first three words. It's the midpoint. So where is it going to go? The midpoint. It is the midpoint. It tells you right away it's the midpoint. That's the value for the midpoint. It goes in there. That's what it's going to be equal to. All right, so using our same idea here. This negative 4 right here, is that going to go in my x or my y equation? My y equation, is that going to go in for y1, y2, or m? m, because it's my, the midpoint is that. And there's my value for what it's equal to. Now all I need to do is plug in this value. It says right here that p1 is negative 2. So that negative 2, is it going into x or y? x, it doesn't really matter if you say x sub 1 or x sub 2. I'm going to plug it in for x sub 1. And I don't know what x sub 2 is. That's the whole goal. My job is to find the second point. I'm going to find x sub 2 and y sub 2. That's what 
second point means. That's eventually what I'm going to do. I'm looking for my x. So what's going to go in here for y1? That number right there, 4 plus y equals that. Let's solve. So if I'm solving for x here, uh, Zion, what do I need to get rid of over here with my x? The 2. How do I get rid of that divided by 2? Yep, multiply both sides by 2. That cancels. Negative 2 plus x equals 6. Then what? Add 2. x equals 8. Hey, look. Same thing. Okay, either way works. You get the same number. Okay, keep that same idea. Let's do the second one here. I'm solving for y. So, Destiny, what are you going to do first? Yeah, multiply both sides by 2. Sorry, it got a little ugly here. So, 4 plus y equals negative 8. Then she subtracts 4, subtracts 4, y equals negative 12. I don't care which way you do it, okay? This way is fine. If you want to go algebraically, do that. If that doesn't make sense to you, then think of it picture-wise. I don't care which one works better for you. Get one of them and get the right answer. Questions with finding the midpoint or finding an end point using midpoint formula.